in those rocks. You see? Inside. In the mound of frozen rocks. A creature lives there. A real creature. Big Glomar. Glomar the greatest. Shut up, Freddy. What an alien being. A body him. That's his bones. His veins. It's blood. And your brain is addled again, eh? Glomar, they say? Ah, oh, that's something I'd like to see. You've no right to rip the meat off the body. You've no right to take away... Become a prospector. The future belongs to Habardium. Habardium, the raw material for manufacturing positron brains, the gateway to progress. Our mining company offers employee perks, regular pay, interesting work in space. Glomar lives. Glomar lives. Relax, Fred. You're hitting the sauce too much. Habardium is an element. A mineral. Don't you get it? It's not... It, it doesn't live, Freddy. It's not living. Try once again to believe in chemistry for a minute. And don't puke on my boots. I'm not drunk. I'm just... Stupid swine. They don't give a shit where they get Habardium from. It's just a way of making money to you. All of you are stupid swines! All of you! Hey, hey what about you, buddy? You believe in Gomar? Yeah? You believe in Gomar's heart? I got bad news for you, Freddy. If Glomar exists, he doesn't give a shit about us. I held Hubardium in my hands. Hubardium, the most valuable and treacherous thing in the universe. Regardless of whether it's Glomar's bones or just rocks, I've seen guys go nuts over it. Craziness passed me by. It didn't affect me. The only thing I've been unlucky with is women. Well, well, well. What a waste of alcohol. How much more do you have to drink, Arnie, before you realize that you still won't get drunk? Your brain is resistant to Hobardium. There's no point in trying to get boozed up. Livia, you're here. Yeah. I was just wondering what you were doing these days. And I wanted to see you once more. Sure. To remember the old days, right? To cry on my shoulder? That's what always turned me on about you the most, babe. Your endless cheek. Arnie, I'm sorry about the way it ended between us. Really, I am. I know that I hurt you, that I said all sorts of terrible things to you, but... What awful things? That I was selfish and had no heart? It helps not to have a heart. At least nobody will ever break it. Glomar might be jealous of me. Glomar? Oh, there's that stupid prospector's talk again. But you know, if you by some chance had a heart, you think I could be the one to break it? What the hell are you playing at? Let me guess. Warren disappointed you. And you gave him the boot because you love me and me alone. Yeah. Ah, cut the crap, Livia. A man won't let himself be fooled twice. But I didn't break up with Warren. Then what? He got rid of you? Not at all. We're always together. I even told him that we should get married and... Way to go. Maybe I should be your bridesmaid. You know I wouldn't take the risk if I was in your place, Livia. What if I was to break his face by mistake? Oh, don't be horrible, Arnie. After all, you guys were friends, you know, buddies. The two best prospectors the company ever had. I've always been sorry that I, unfortunately, came between you two. Spare me, Livia. If you want to go stir someone's heart, go and give poetry readings at an old folks home. I've already stirred yours. It still eats you up, Arnie. Admit it. You still care about me. Because if it was all the same to you, you wouldn't be sitting here. You wouldn't be trying to get drunk, even though you are hopeless at it. Don't flatter yourself, honey. You're not just here for the sake of it. You've never done anything without a reason. I gather it's probably not a wedding invitation, but I know you want something from me. <laughs> That's what I thought. You're so damn clever, Arnie. You always catch me out when I try it on with sentiment. But... Now I'm so desperate that I'll do anything. 
Okay, yes, you're right. I want something from you. You're my last hope. Arnold, Warren is in a terrible jam. It may cost him his life. And you're the only person in the world who can get him out of it. Warren stayed on Alpha Prime. The company opened a new Habardium mine there. It seemed there was a huge deposit. The radiation was very strong. Maybe... Maybe too strong. Something happened there. God damn it, what sort of bullshit is this? We all know that the company doesn't give a damn about prospectors. I didn't count on them helping Warren. But if someone here obviously laid mines... They tried to cut Alpha off to get rid of witnesses. Maybe they'll destroy it completely. It's great that we've got tickets for seats in the front row. Arnie, come for me. I'm on the bridge. We must get down there. We have to... before... Damn it. Livia! Livia! Arnold, I'm right here, behind the doors! I can't do anything with it. It won't budge an inch. You're a hacker, goddammit. You can't unlock one stupid door. I won't smash this with an axe, honey. I'm working on it, Arnie, but it's a special security safeguard. Listen to me. I can handle this, but you can't wait for me. Warren and maybe others are in the passageway. Their chances get worse by the hour. You have to go down there. To Alpha. I won't leave you here. It's for my sake that you have to go, Arnie. Artemis's engine is destroyed, but there is another ship down there which is operational. We can get away in that. Lydia. Time is running out on us. The company is definitely monitoring the surroundings. If somebody comes here... They'll surely prize us out of this ship like an oyster from a shell. And have us for dinner with some love. I'm activating the landing module. I'll keep in contact with you. Go!
Please use the oxygen dispensers located on the walls. Please use the oxygen dispensers located on the walls. Welcome to Sector 1. what Hobartium does to a person. Or should I say, Doors former. Are unlocked. That damn Jimmy, he just calmly up and died in there. I'm about to do it, honey. The only thing is I didn't bring enough straight jackets for all those Hobartium nutters. Porca puttana, it's goddamn work. Bellini, I'm such a scumbag. 
Why didn't I learn this in school, cazzo? What about a consultation, maestro? I might like to try it. Uh, another nutcase? Mutant. Questo è un po' toccato. Bardium. Help! Ah, vai via, va! Psst. So far, I still haven't fired. Um, you are normale? Bardium? No? Train up the spout? No? Yeah, intelligente. <laughs> hey, ascolta. Mutants, chicken, very, very cowardly. If someone screams at them properly, ah! They sometimes get frightened and run. Capish? Yeah, sure. I saw it. What you got here? Reckon. Nice thing. Perfetto. No hacker will turn his nose up at it. A reckon like this, it opens all doors. Cameras, it messes up. Machines, it botches. And therefore, almost everything. You want to try it? Doors, there, come on. And what's behind those doors? An arsenal, machine guns, cannons, lots and lots. Boom, 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 boom. Fine thing. That'll come in handy. I must go down there, you see, underground. I'm looking for a guy, a certain Warren Reynolds. Ah, Warren, si sì, si, sì, lucky guy. A fortunato quello. This figone, always with him. An amazing lady, this Livia. Bella donna, very beautiful. What happened to her? Livia's in orbit. She's waiting until I find Warren and another spaceship. Parker, zio, a ship? Here? Not at all, no ship. Not on Alpha. Otherwise, Paolo would be long gone. Vroom, 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 get the move on. Go away from here. Livia said... Nonsense. No ship anywhere. Perhaps Warren secretly hide Flotilla in his shoe. It's the only way. He has spaceship in his pocket. I'll have to start by finding Warren. I can't wait to hear the nice things he has to tell me. No, no, not that way. Sconjuro. Many, many mutants. Better to take lift than down. Nice and comfortable. Down... Down floor and empty passageway. You know a lot, eh? He'll certainly find the safest route for me. You know, Paolo no like shooting. Morbido. Uno body, due bodies, lots of bodies. Boom, bang, everywhere. Very nasty. Prefer Bellini to Tortellini. <laughs> What's this now? Parko, Zio, we are not moving. <laughs> Never mind. I am a guide. Nobody nowhere. Let's go proudly on. once more and at me again ouch ah they've killed me i am it my poor leg completely dead they've killed me i've been shot by them i will get blood poisoning perhaps it won't be so bad paolo pour some rum on it and carry on no paolo go nowhere paolo is a cripple disability pension not well ruined sick io me ne frego you can go alone, Arnold. 
How about you at least give me a map, Paolo the Cripple? Map is just here. Ascolta. Important place is control room. Terminals, computers. You can push an arrow, another lift. Perfetto, like this. Piece of cake, no worries. Are you trying to say that there's another lift here that could be unlocked from the control room? Yes, precisely that. Arnold is seriously a very clever man.
Anything new? Have you located Warren and the ship? On Alpha. There's probably no spaceship. Maybe they took it away in the meantime. It's not here? Oh, that's just great. Well, at least we can keep this party going till morning. No need to worry about having to leave. Arnie, I'm doing everything that's humanly possible. Then do everything that's humanly possible for you and try and think of a way to get us out of here. There are definitely options here. We could, for example... Oh, God damn it! Wait! Wait, Arnie! What's happening now? Oh, damn it! I have to cut off. Don't call. I'll be in touch.
So, what's the story, Arnold? Boom, boom, and good, good, huh? Lots of robots and mutants, isn't it? Don't be afraid, Paolo. I smashed them for you as well. Super. You are numero uno, guy. I am very proud that we two are friends. We will wring all their necks. I'm always with you. I get it. That's what they call a division of labor. Oh, I'm glad you'll help me. Donde andrai? Farfallone amoroso. Ah, the subarium. Ips. <clears throat> Uh, this is a very strange thing, all the same, the Zubardium. Do you believe in Glomar, Arnold? No. But you should. Paolo feels it. Here on Alpha. You know, alone at night. Always. Every wall here, it's full of strange things. You can feel, no? Glomar's heart. There in the rocks. Always. Always here and there. Don't go down that road with me, Paolo. I'm highly allergic to talking crap about Glomar. Sure, maestro. Io me ne frego, però. No Glomar, no art. Only Ubardium. Paolo, I want to ask you for something. Yeah, what do you want, boss? What do you want? Don't start yelling. Ah! Mamma mia! They're here! Porca puttana. They will tear into me. They will kick me out, without work. Poor Paolo. Quick bang, eh? Bellini. Bellini, you're up the spout, completely and straight away. Report, he no have. Jackhammer, he no have. Permit, he no have. Oh, fuck. Where? Where am I only? Where can I go? You are my witness. Witness, yeah? I did nothing. Nothing against this company. Shut up! Now listen to me, Paolo. That you'll get fired is the least of your problems right now. The company has sent special units here to eliminate all witnesses. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Uh. Yeah, you put it very nicely. Now for Christ's sake, grab your machine gun and try to make sure that they go up the spout and not us. Um, so we got after them. You to the right and me to the left. You find way out of the storeroom. Me, I keep guard here. CC. To the left, everyone. To the right, alone. Or, uh, or vice versa. Paolo, you're not gonna hole up somewhere, are you? Me? Hole up? What do you think Bellini is, a rabbit? <laughs> you mean hide? Run away? Scarper on? Go, huh? Paolo no run away. Paolo never, never run away. Imperium Romanum. This is my blood. For Venezia, for Milano, and for Rome. Uh, only now, you know, my leg hurt a lot, so... You better go in front alone and...
Livia! The doors! Can you hear me? Why the hell aren't you receiving? They'll fry me in here, sweetheart, if you don't open the doors for me. Bruce Lawrence here. I don't wear no skirt and I ain't your sweetheart, but I'll lend you a hand. I'm sitting at the terminal I'm starting up the locating process. Well, what do you know? Paraphrase uh, Maestro Bellini. Finally, somebody whose brains aren't up the spout. Get a move on, Bruce. I see you got some special ops in your tail. I'll be picking up your vibe for some time, brother. Move on. This is Weiss. This chicken. As instructed, sir. From Madonna Mia. No Weiss, no Schwartz, and Arnold Abdespaut. Me, Paolo Bellini. I am not here. I am a mistake. Yeah, I can see that. A mistake of nature. How could they hire such a worthless sack as a prospector? Where's Arnold Weiss? No, that I don't know. This isn't our man, Sergeant. Surprise, surprise. So move your ass and get Arnold Weiss. According to the Coral Snake, he can't be far. Yes, sir. Well, it's a dang shame, my man. You're at the wrong end of the gun. But I personally have nothing against you. Perhaps we can still come to an arrangement. Arrangement? Si, si. Paolo, I have nothing. You're a prospector. It was your duty to measure the intensity of Habardium radiation, to supply the company with data. Date for researchers, yes. It was in the contract. Such a pain every day. Che palle. Paolo never experienced such bloody hassle. Any results? Hubardium. Sometimes forte, glows very bright, and sometimes pianissimo. Every place different. Confusion everywhere. This passageway, forte, forte. There is nothing finito. Nobody know nothing. Glomar no say. Hmm. It'd be a shame to throw away all that work. Someone responsible should give this database to the scientists. We'll take care of it, Bellini. Give me your access code. Yes, I... I actually don't have. Don't even try it. If we can't come to an agreement, things can end badly, Maestro Bellini. Capish? I? I don't try nothing. The access password? It's a... it's a DNA screwdriver, cazzo. Here, this for biodetector, but I must be alive. Otherwise, it no work, huh? Bullshit! Nobody gives an ordinary little shit like you access via DNA. I'll beat the crap out of you, asshole. Now... Listen to me. I'll start by shooting you in the leg. Then, I'll shoot the other leg. Then... No. No. I know, take it. They already shoot me in leg. Here, and here. Horrible injuries. I have holes everywhere. You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your face, Bellini. 
<laughs> What's this for? <laughs> it's pity to fire. I am nothing. <laughs> but Glomar is angry. Very angry. Wait for his rage, Forte. Forte, oh. And art is up the spout. is up the spout. We'll see about that. I'll get you, Glomar. I'll find you in the end. I'll pull you out of the fucking wall. I couldn't get to him in time. I only saw the recording. Paolo managed to release the Hubardium the way he wanted. He would have got away under their noses. Assholes. But I already hacked into that network. I got the goods on that heavy hitter. Secret agent Colonel Olivier. <laughs> A real big shot. I'm gonna look him up in the log. See why he wants you of all people, Weiss. Something really stinks here. They wouldn't just roll out the Marines to secure one stupid little mine. Hide in the pipeline for the time being. You can get further that way. Caution. This sector has low oxygen density. Please use the oxygen dispensers located on the walls. Finally talk for a while. Oh, it's about time. It's a good thing I didn't count only on you, sweetheart. Oh, don't be such an asshole. Do you think I've just been sitting on my ass here? I detected a strange ship, and the company sent us some special ops. I had to break off all communications right away. Otherwise, they'd have intercepted them. This is the first time their ship is in a radio shadow. So they just flew by and let the Artemis sink below the horizon? They didn't even stop to have a cup of coffee with you? Yeah, and those Green Berets sure have no manners. If I saw an unidentified ship in orbit, I'd at least run a biodetector over it. Of course they did that, but I hacked into their frequency and sent them false data. They're convinced that no one on the Artemis survived. I was afraid they'd come on board anyway, but I guess they thought it wasn't worth the effort. Yeah, sure. They had plenty of work to do somewhere else. There's a guy here by the name of Olivier. And he wants Glomar's heart. What? What? What kind of crap is this? You don't actually believe that, do you? There's some strange people around here, weird robots. This Olivier knew all about me, and he wanted me alive. Olivia, what is on Alpha Prime? Glomar my ass! 
sorry, Arnie. Lubardium doesn't have a heart. I gave up on that bullshit a long time ago. Damn it, do, do you hear that? I set an alarm for them. They'll be back above the horizon in 10 seconds. Hold on, Arnie, I'll be in touch. You are entering an airlock. Thank <laughs> you. 
activated. Hey Weiss, what's up? I got a good tip for you. I know you can break out of here and get to Warren Reynolds. That is if you're still looking for him. Believe me, it ain't easy to find that guy. He cut himself out of all communications and acts like he don't hear a thing. Maybe he's afraid they'll go after him. But he's somewhere in the Northern Tunnel. Is it possible to get there? Only via the surface. We got a train there, real plush. Oxygen dispensers included. Hop on board now, wait for the peanuts. And that's what I call the perfect career. Always wanted to be a train engineer. Yeah, just don't let that gear stick get out your hands, brother. What gives with the babe that's helping you? You know, Livia? What can I tell you that you don't already know, Snoop? Seriously, Weiss. I heard a pull in the wool over your eyes about those ships, so I zeroed in on them for a bit of practice. There's no radio shadow preventing the Artemis from being picked up by the Special Ops cruiser at that time. Okay. Okay. I get your drift. You don't know the half of it. Your sweet Livia fastened onto their frequencies afterwards. She was broadcasting to that punk-ass Colonel Olivier directly. An encrypted transmission. I couldn't pick up a single thing. So I'd ask them what they're yapping about if you get a chance. <laughs> a passionate heart. Stuff like that, I guess.
closing doors. The train is leaving the station malfunction. Closing doors. The train is leaving the station now.
can see me on the display. Now will you open up for me, or do I have to hack into the doors? Welcome to the fort, Arnold. If you've come to zap me because of her, be my guest. But first, close the doors after you. I have a program here that is supposed to finish running before the soldiers get here. As far as I know, they're right on your tail. <laughs> be a shame to kill you straight away, wouldn't it? I'd look a right fool to come all this way for just that. Hmm. It just occurred to me. So why then, Arnold? Out of curiosity? God damn it, Warren. I guess I just wanted to make her happy. And we're both idiots, Arnie. Just to make it clear, Livia is with them. She works for the company. For real, not like those crazy naive fools who kicked the bucket here. This has been a secret from the beginning, Arnold. There's a huge concentration of Habardium here on Alpha. Besides normal extraction, the company carried out a survey here. That's what they hired me and Livia for. But then everything went to pot. The intensity of the radiation increased and the robots went haywire. The exact same thing happened to the people here. Here in this rock, there's something that should have been left alone. You might call it Glomar, even though I'd sooner see it in terms of equations and figures. Livia just happened to be on the surface. What a stroke of luck. She sent me a message saying that she managed to make it to an escape pod and that she would come back for me. But then I went through the records. There were 500 landing vessels here, and just about all of them were wrecked. Now that's what I'd call mighty unfortunate. Only one ship got away. It took a couple of bigwigs from the company, and Livia. She knew about it beforehand. Why don't you ask her, buddy? I'm doing all I can to make sure she doesn't find me. Well, that's why you barricaded yourself in here instead of waving a hanky and letting off a couple of flares. Do you think they deliberately caused this disaster? That's one possibility. Experiments on people. But I think it's about something else. And they knew the exact level of risk, so they were well prepared. They didn't let a single prospector escape. No leak of information, no lawsuits. But you know what? They haven't finished yet. If they got what they wanted, they wouldn't have sent in the Marines. They still haven't managed to rob the nest. Stick it up your ass. God damn it, I've never believed in Glomar's heart. <laughs> If you still want to discuss Glomar, some experts will be paying us a visit in a minute. <laughs> well, I won't be making them a cup of tea, will I? I think I'd prefer to get my rifle ready. Finishes running. Ah, so you can finish surfing for porn, yeah? Hey, look, they want your database of measurements. You should somehow. And what do you think I'm doing? That's precisely what I'm downloading from the network. Good work, old buddy. Now we have a moment's peace. I deleted the database from the network. I've taken a backup copy for myself, and I'm gonna hide it somewhere safe. Any code can be broken, but if the data simply isn't there, then there's not much even Olivier can do about it. Is it really encoded using DNA? That's what a prospector told Olivier. Are you crazy? Well, it's a nice idea. To feed them such a line of crap, I've gotta remember that. So level with me, Warren. Why is that damn database so important? What the hell is it all about? It's about the hearts of beautiful women. See, the heart is an anomaly. A place with extremely strong radiation. 
You can safely call it that, even if you don't believe in Glomar. According to certain theories, Habardium is a secondary product. Originally it was just ordinary rock, but it metamorphosized under the influence of the heart. Can you imagine what it would mean to get your hands on this heart? You don't have to sweat in the salt mines when you've got a bottomless salt cellar. You don't have to dig for gold when you've got the Philosopher's Stone. Habardium affects the human psyche. It slows down time. Someone could have a lot of fun if they got their hands on the source of this substance. So why didn't they do it ages ago? All you have to do is find out where the radiation is the strongest, then simply go there and dig for a while. That's just it. This place keeps on changing. Naturally, the intensity of the radiation isn't fluctuating at random. There's a certain regularity to it. Analyses of time series indicate that the heart constantly travels via veins of Hobartium. It moves inside the rock, but it can come to the surface somewhere in the passageway. You have to interpret the measurements over a sufficiently long period of time to be able to estimate where this is going to happen next. After this catastrophe, the route of the heart changed. Without the new measurements, which are here, they won't find it again. Again? You mean they already had it once? Almost. They wanted to collect it using a robot. Their idea was to put it into a special box and to shield it with the force field barrier. It was a wonderful plan. Some big shots from the company even came here so they could be here to see it. It's totally obvious, Arnold, that this attempt was the direct cause of the disaster. And what are those wise men trying to do now? They give the Marines some kind of better shopping bag or what? <laughs> They can certainly try, but it will amount to nothing. We examined Habardium's interaction with various materials. It seems that the more you isolate the heart from its surroundings, the worse the result. If you want to know what I think, the safest thing to do is just take the heart as it is, with your bare hands. That's what you'd call one hot potato. I assume that not everybody is cut out for that sort of job. I guess a certain... Special resistance would be required. More like a special stupidity, don't you think? Show me the lunatic that would touch it. I'd do it if I had to. Even if it would burn my fingers to the bone. Just so they wouldn't... get their hands on it. Don't count on us getting out of here, Arnold. All of us here on Alpha have been sentenced to death. They won't let us escape. But the only sensible thing left for us to do is try and get to the heart in time. To steer it into outer space. Maybe it actually is an extraterrestrial life form. And it will forever be our fault, yours and mine, if we let those bastards make a quick buck out of it. Oh, man. You really are a dreamer, Warren. You've become an idealist. Laugh all you want. I'm going there, with or without you. Psycho. Damn. Someone's outside in the passageway. It's that Italian. Yeah, I recognize him. He's the prospector from, from the South Sector. Doesn't look like the radiation has affected him. But he's wounded. Wait, I'll open up for him. Paolo Bellini? No, no, wait. How could he have survived? Wait, Warren, it's not possible. It's a... Warren Reynolds? Don't move. Get your hands up.
Rose, you've got to do something. Oh man, they got Warren. They sent him an image. And suddenly, I get a big whining telephone call. I was getting worried that we wouldn't get to chew the fat again, Livia. Arnie, for Christ's sakes, what's the matter with you? Oh, well, I, I had a reality check, baby. You lied to me about absolutely everything, and Warren is the first person not to believe you. Your ship wasn't in radio shadow. You just made up that cock and bull story to explain why the soldiers left you alone. You're in cahoots with them. That's nonsense. Yeah? Oh, their commander knows me by name. Knew about me from the very beginning. And who did he learn that from, I wonder? They got the info from the flight log. Aha! Yo, yo. God damn it. You've got it all wrong, Arnie. Their ship is in orbit 20 degrees above Artemis. The shadow only lasts a lousy couple of minutes and... I was calculating it. I didn't take into account the diffraction of the radio waves. I was out by a few seconds and they noticed I was transmitting. That, that guy of theirs, Olivier, called me straight away. He threatened me. He caught me off guard, so... Okay, maybe I didn't handle it as well as I could. I let it slip that I'd come to save a prospector. And, well, he just laughed at me when he heard that, and, and he cut the connection. Oh, I can just hear you, honey. Oh, Olivier. It may cost him his life, and you're the only person in the world who can still get him out of it. Unfortunately, I can't follow suit. I don't have the right... weaponry. Oh, you're disgusting, Arnold. Oh no, I'm not disgusting, just a little slow on the uptake. Once again, I've let you lead me down the garden path, even though I know you well. Warren told me how it was during the evacuation. Not a single prospector managed to get out of here except you. I'm really sorry about that, Arnie, but you know prospectors. Overgrown, sweaty guys. They don't wash, they stink. They don't have... the weaponry. There was a head honcho from the Board of Administration on that visit. I knew I had to get on his ship. I simply had to if I wanted to save Warren. It was a tough choice, Arnie. I'm not a whore. I said to myself that if my virtue was at stake, I'd kick him in the balls. But still, a girl never knows if that'll be enough. So he romped around a little on the ship. But he didn't turn around and go back to Alpha. Hmm. <laughs> I'm being disgustingly frank with you, Arnie. You can think what you want about me. You may possibly hate me, but I will do anything for him. I beg you, please help Warren get him out of this. Maybe you can manage to grab their ship.
twice. I noticed your friend Reynolds landed himself in the shit. We're just doing our best to keep you entertained, Snoop. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. I gotta keep an eye out for you, don't I? Especially that hot-ass Livia. Go to hell. It's true Livia can't be trusted, but it seems this has nothing to do with her. Sorry, brother, maybe I got it all wrong. But she's totally crazy about that Reynolds, huh? It must be a bitch knowing she'll never fall for you that same way. Put a Lonely Hearts ad in the paper. Arrange something better for me. Ah, uh, you know women ain't shit. I got better news. I found out where those bastards are keeping their landing vessel. Olivia with that Reynolds on a leash are headed straight there. I'll give you the coordinates. But there's one small detail. Yeah? Oh, uh, well... I'd like to make you a deal. That chick Livia had a great idea when she told you to rob that ship. After all, how is she gonna get away from here? If it works out, do me a favor. Keep a seat in the back row for me. Old Bruce could be useful. I'll break into the ship's computer and work out the coordinates and the launch window for you. I can help you out here like a loyal old dog. If you'd be so kind as to not let me rot in this fucking hole. Well, I'll bear that in mind, Mr. Eavesdropper Extraordinaire. is here. I just need to get down there. Receiving you loud and clear. Yeah, I've located you. If you want to break that window and climb down on the bed sheet, then you should back up, buddy. It's super glass. It can withstand the shock waves of the ship's launch. I really wouldn't shoot at something like that at close range. I'll try to hack into it for you. Fucking hell. That was a bitch. We've got visitors. Get back in mind that nobody sees you. Just pray they don't turn on the bio detector here. Have you seen it? They're taking that old piece of shit out the ship and they're trying to find good use for it. I see it. Warren's been inspired by Paolo. But as to what the hell he's got planned, you tell me. Bruce, get a move on and do something about that window. I need to throw some rotten tomatoes on the stage. Down, 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 down. No problem. Anything can be open from a console when you got a real pro on the job. But it'll take me a little while longer, okay? The biodetector has been activated as instructed, sir. I'm warning you, Reynolds. You're now going to the biodetector. You'll unblock the database with one false move, and I'll blow your brains out. Our agreement still stands, Colonel. I have your word that you'll guarantee me safe passage away from Alpha. What the hell do you think, you little shit? I'd lie to you? Of course, I trust you completely, Colonel, but before I enter the access code to the database, I, I want to check that the ship's positron systems are totally operational. I want to be sure that we can fly off immediately afterwards. Be my guest, Reynolds. But I warn you, there are armed men everywhere you look, so don't try anything stupid. I understand. You can't be very surprised that I'm interested in making sure the only operational ship on Alpha doesn't leave without me. Holy shit, did you hear that, Honor? He's eating out of their hands! After all that, he's gonna give him the database so we can get out of here? No, Bruce. I know Warren well. He won't tell them anything. He'd never be duped by them like that. He knows damn well that they'll kill him as soon as they get the information. But hell, look at him! He's going to the keyboard! Yeah, but there's no DNA coding there. We all know that. Olivier's crazy to let him go into the ship like that. He must want that database so badly he's going nuts. Warren's got something planned, that's for sure. What it'll be to connect. God damn it! The window, Bruce, hurry! Unblock it, you've gotta open it for me. Shit, nearly there. I got it on the patrol. Just one minute and thirty. Well, um, uh, I guess it ain't gonna work. With that window, I mean. Now it's really completely jammed.
entering an airlock. Please use the oxygen dispensers located on the walls. Enter. Bruce, how do things look low in the hangar? No idea, man. That camera's busted, but this still sounds. Olivier survived. What a swine. He's been yelling at us for sabotage. He's promised to do things to Reynolds that would make me blush. One's alive. Alive enough to provide them with entertainment for the evening. They'll switch off their cameras and put on a show. <laughs> what do I know? He could be talking to a dead guy. We have to find him. He still has something that Olivier wants. I'll keep tabs on Olivier. We need not worry about scrambling to get on that ship anymore. That's for sure. It's a first class piece of shit now. There goes my seat in the back row. Warren had something to do with that. He destroyed the landing vessel for the Marines with the impulse. He set off positron circuits so that he could escape? No, so that they couldn't get away. He wanted to set off an explosion and kill as many of them as possible. Perhaps also prevent them from flying off. Real kamikaze stuff. But instead of that, he just managed to piss off Olivier and his boys. They, so they've still got him? You'll probably have to find that out. I never said I was a hacker. I have his position. He's on his way to the old colony of the First Prospector. I thought he had escaped from them and wanted to go there to hide, but... Oh, it looks like the soldiers are taking him there. Well, why there, of all places? What do I know? That, that guy, Olivier, he's a total nutcase, a fanatic. I only spoke with him for a short while, but he kept going on about... Lomar and the New Age. A lunatic like that is capable of anything. And now he's taking war and God knows where. You have to kill him. You have to blast him if you can, Arnie. Don't wait for anything. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'll find Warren. I'll save the world. I'll bring you the head of Colonel Olivier wrapped in newspaper. Is that good enough for you, baby?
what's up? Bruce here. I got a handle on our colonel. I got him bugged. From now on, I can forward all these things to your display. I went through a secret log last night. I found out a bit of juicy information, too. What, he still gets off with sheep? I wouldn't bore you with details like that. This is better than sex. He sent a report to the bureaucrats from the company. But you can hear it for yourself. An operation cleanup is proceeding according to plan. I'm continually updating the plan of approach according to local conditions. I've chosen this sector codenamed Beginning as the next site for clearance operations. We are working on the arrangement of Operation Trap, but there have been no significant developments. Despite all Coral Snake's best efforts, we have not managed to get information on the location of the object. Smoke and mirrors, eh? He really knows how to pad out a report. But this object he's talking about, this probably means Glomer's fucking heart, doesn't it? I understand perfectly, Bruce. What interests me is who this Coral Snake is. Probably someone from that shower of bastards. Listen to it a bit more. Despite the fact that considerable skill has been shown in influencing computer systems, Coral Snake's attempts to get data from the database of measurements have been unsuccessful. This can definitely not be ascribed to his inadequate ability. Rather, it raises certain doubts about his loyalty. Holy shit. You hear that? This Coral Snake is really fucking everything up. I'll come to my own conclusions if you don't mind. I recommend carefully considering the risk represented by his further involvement in Operation Trap. Coral Snake knows too much, and if he cannot be counted on 100%, he may try to use the object in an unauthorized manner, whether now or in the future. In my opinion, the risk posed by Coral Snake outweigh any further benefits he might offer. Consequently, I am requesting permission to eliminate him. What do you say to that? Nice, huh? Oh, you're right. Coral Snake fucked up. So, my dear Weiss, Coral Snake is one of those people here on Alpha. Various things run through a guy's head. Maybe it's stupid. But from what I know, this Coral Snake guy could be you. Me? Hell, I'm no hacker. And the troops have been trying to kill me the entire time. So you're no fucking hacker. You who brandish a recon here? Who breaks into every single computer? You'd also swipe the database if you could. And don't say they want to kill you. Those boys keep plugging away, but somehow they just can't manage to finish the job. They just can't seem to shoot you properly. It's a pure miracle you're still alive, and miracles are always suspicious. But, but, uh... You know what I say, buddy. I don't give a damn. You know, I'm not some priest here to take your confession. Perhaps they want to fuck with you and you don't even know it. Or perhaps you went along with it, and now you're in the shit too. It's certain that that cruel snake is out of the loop. He can't be with them anymore. And so he should damn well fix things so at least he gets in with good old Bruce here. If two people were to actually get together, they could manage to claw their way out of here somehow.
wipes you on a proper base. You know you're a stone's throw from the armory. You probably find a flamethrower or two laying around there. But you probably can't open the doors. Aren't you glad you got Bruce around to help you out? Oh, thanks, Bruce. If you're gonna keep on snooping, try and zoom in on Warren. Livia says they're taking him to the old colony of the first prospectors. The coordinates are... I know, I know. Guess where I'm hanging out now? I'm in the old colony as well. It's right under my nose. So the locating process is underway. Goddamn fucking piece of shit. It just froze up. I can't get it to do a fucking thing. Too bad, bro. My nose is not in range. And they're definitely not taking him here. Do you have a bio detector? Are you nuts? Where would I get one? They put him in ships. The one that Reynolds busted was the only one around. I got a program which gives me outputs from cameras that have been hacked into. Are you sure somebody hasn't broken into it? Uh, who would do that? That glorified Gren Olivier and his coral snake? Coral snake has quit the trade. You should know something about that, eh? Therefore, you're talking to the best hacker on Alpha. Olivia, are you sure that Warren should be in the original Prospector's old base? We've been getting some tip-offs that say he can't be located. Tip-offs, you say? I certainly noticed that you were talking to someone. He sometimes unblocks the doors for you as well, right? But he encodes all his transmissions that go... Bruce listened in on Olivier. Olivier is a swine! Yeah, and although he saw various funny things, Warren wasn't one of them. Not on a single record. Olivier is at the old base, and according to the orders he's issued, he's getting ready to go down to the Hobardium mines. But evidently, he doesn't want to have Warren with him, and not one of his people has been talking about him. Perhaps they're simply being careful. They could have copped that someone is spying on them and put a false picture in the camera. Have you seen all the things that they can do with that? They even fooled Warren that way. Yeah. A fake picture is the perfect thing. But for that, you need a loyal hacker. Maybe it was that guy who was collaborating with them, that uh, Bruce. You forwarded me a record of a report Olivier sent to company management. Olivier requested permission to eliminate a narc who was helping the company under the code name Coral Snake. What do you got to say to that, baby? What would I say? It doesn't surprise me at all they've got a hacker here. And if you suspect you're Bruce, well, you're probably right. He probably showed you that record to divert suspicion away from him. I mean, he could never know whether or not I would give you that information. Of course he's behaving suspiciously. What he did with that window was obvious sabotage. He didn't open it for you on purpose. If he was working for them, then of course he didn't want you to get to Warren in time. The only thing is, he damaged them most of all. If I had started shooting at them, Warren would not have managed to destroy the ship. I doubt they knew you were trying to shoot at them for their own good. This Bruce is definitely lying to you, Arnie. Maybe he's constantly trying to play on both sides. As far as Warren is concerned, I have a biodetector on the ship. I can see it completely accurately. Don't let anything make you doubt it. Warren was on the old base, and now they're taking him to the Hobardian mine. You have to go straight there to the lower floor. Now hurry!
said that we don't finish a job that we've started. Time to move on up and down to the mines. Any halfwit knows how to get out there via the shaft, but I know a super shortcut. It's a secret passage. If you don't want to get pally with the Colonel, you should give it a shot. Well, teleport to Earth would be nice, Bruce. Do something about that when you got a moment. Oh shit, man, a corpse. And it's not one of ours. I guess this shortcut's not a secret anymore. Uh, uh, Warren! Warren, Jesus, what do those bastards do to you? They... just had a lot of fun. And then they dumped me here. I guess it never occurred to them that I could still... wake up sometime. Bruce? Bruce, I need a first aid kit. They got it, Arnie. I'd never have told them. Believe me, but they simply swiped it from my pocket. A copy of the database? A safe hiding place. It doesn't exist. I should have destroyed it. Now they know. The lowest floor. 2107 standard time. Today. I'll be there. Now just lie down and save your strength, okay? I overheard something. That thing. It takes on the personality of whoever picks it up. It'll act. According to what he expects it to do. You don't have to worry about your fingers. But the main thing is... Don't think of stupid things. Warren, hold on. Come on, you've got to put up a fight. Livia's waiting for you. <laughs> to hell with Livia. Don't forget. I hope you wish for... something nice. Uh, you're not gonna say anything to that chick Livia, right? What exactly? That he said she should go to hell? Or that he's dead. <laughs> well, both, actually. It'll be hard for us to keep this from her, Bruce. God damn it. Can't imagine that I could see Livia cry, of all people. Okay, move it, Bruce. We've got a date. Oh, uh, well, you see... What? Some, some name right here. This guy stays here, totally invisible, perfectly hidden. He works for the company doing measurements. Then he swipes the database for himself. He said that he misplaced it somewhere or something like that. Only Olivier figures it's a trick, so he bumps him off. Bullshit. Warren was a straight-up guy. I knew him for years. It's true that we fell out over a woman. It happens. But when I heard that Warren was in trouble, that suddenly didn't matter to me anymore. It's quite possible that I wouldn't have come for anybody else. You see, it's a fucking ploy to get you here, man. Everyone wants you to collect the heart, Weiss. It totally stinks. I've said it to you all along. I'm getting out of here. This shit is getting fucked up. It's gonna end badly. And I don't want to be involved in this shit. Shut the fuck up. Paolo Bellini, Warren Reynolds. The two damn good reasons, Olivier, why I'm gonna blow your brains out when I see you. Well, well. This passion is damned impractical, Arnold. You've better things to do than stand up for those wretches. Bellini was a fool. And Reynolds was a lousy idealist. Bullshit. Try and be a little fair. Nothing would have happened to Bellini if he hadn't tried to scarp her. And as far as Reynolds is concerned, he stole a database that belonged to the company. He tried to prevent the legal mining of mineral resources. He destroyed expensive army equipment and tried to impede our operation. He killed my men. You can't be surprised that I wanted him tried and punished. You bastards. I saw what you did to him. I didn't know that the troops had licked him into shape. But they've already been reprimanded. Sometimes one has to put up with sensitive information being leaked. 
I've noticed you may have got your hands on one of my reports. It's a shame when security measures fail like that. Even though... Maybe I simply wanted to know if Coral Snake was listening. Watch out, Weiss. The Coral Snake is lurking in the background and manipulating you while he's at it. Christ! So he's a manipulator. Oh, that's one poisonous snake. Make your silly little jokes if you want. He'll fuck you over and you won't even know what hit you. We all know what sort of cock-up has been happening here on Alpha. It poses a risk to our entire civilization. I received instructions to properly secure this object. And in the interest of the Earth, that's what I'm going to do. To hell with all this damn pacifists. A soldier must carry out his orders, even if it results in a loss of life. Anyone who has already allowed himself to be bought once doesn't give a shit about humanity. That's obvious to both of us, Weiss. The Coral Snake double-crossed me. I now know that for sure. He wants Glomer's heart for himself. Oh, really? Well, that's what he wants, is it, the rotten swine? It's a good job we have such a vigilant guardian of the peace here who won't tolerate this situation, will he? Come on, Colonel Spillip Beans. As proof of your total sincerity and super honorable intentions, who is the Coral Snake? You don't believe a word what I've been saying, Weiss. I can see it. If I tell you his name, I'll only be playing into the Coral Snake's hands. You'll tell yourself it's a trick, and you'll trust this person even more. Coral Snake doesn't want to get his fingers burned. Anyway, he's not close enough to take the heart himself. And so he's been leading you on. He's in no doubt that he can screw you for it. Especially when you make sure I'm out of the way. If you have an ounce of sense, Wise, leave things alone. Don't let yourself be used. He's playing you two guys off each other and picking up the pieces for himself. You'll be mighty pissed off when you realize he's playing you for a sucker.
hear anything from the great Olivier? Did he smooth talk you around his way of thinking? I was just asking myself if the Snoop hadn't overslept. It's hard to be surprised at what Olivier's been trying to do. If he could somehow win me over, he'd sure save a lot of ammo. If only. Hey, bro. Ain't you afraid? What, Glomar? No. That fucking Olivier is right. Yeah, maybe. But perhaps Warren was right. Maybe it's really enough to simply wish for something. Olivier is obviously lying, Bruce. When I listened to him, I said to myself, the coral snake could be... Olivier. Only it then occurred to me that maybe there's no coral snake at all. Olivier deliberately made up this story to turn us against each other. But it brought us two together out of spite. Ain't that right, my dear? We work damn fine together. I just found out something. I'm mighty pleased about it, and I'm uh, letting you in on it too. A landing vessel's coming here. A new ship? <laughs> I like a new one too, bro, but that shit just ain't on the horizon. Screw the fucking heart, man. Let's get some transportation. Your priorities are all screwed up, Bruce. Whoever has the heart can get a ship, and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. It's always about the heart. The heart. I love to see the look on their face when they find Glomer's ass and not his heart. <laughs> and besides screwed up priorities, you still look at the world in a very crude way. Ass is needlessly vulgar. I personally am betting on the duodendum and pancreas.
think you understand me, Arnold Weiss. So let's go over it once again to make sure it's crystal clear, asshole. If you muddle things up for me, I'll kill you. Likewise. And I hope you have a nice day as well. The heart should be taken by an authorized person from the mining company. And the company will be annoyed if some shithead gets in the way. You won't hide from the company even if you shoot your way out of here and get away from Alpha, not even on Transiron. They may send assassins or they may send lawyers, but they'll get you either way. This is your last chance. Get out of my way, Wise, and I'll put in a good word for you. I have a better idea. I'll take the heart and personally give it to the authorized lawyers and assassins, okay? And I'll put in a good word for you. You shithead. That's a good girl. Nice girl. And now I'll take you. Nice and slow. Slowly. Easy does it. That's it. Don't move, Olivier. I've got my finger on the trigger. If you touch it, you're a dead man. Well, well. If it isn't that tough guy, Mr. Weiss. So am I right in understanding that everything up above has been completely wiped out? Completely wiped out, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice way of putting it. The upshot of it is pretty nasty for you. No one's coming to help you, Olivier. And now, two steps. Backwards, motherfucker. Sure. Just a moment. I would just like to thank you first of all for handling those morons so nicely. You see, it's sad that one of those fucking bastards was spying on me. <sighs> I've been promised another stripe and a nice wad of money if I give them this baby in one piece. It's a great prospect, eh? A peaceful old age. What more could one want from life? And yet, Still, they're afraid that I'll want to keep the heart for myself. Such a lack of trust is very hurtful. Colonel Olivier, there's no point in playing for time. I'm... Most importantly, there's no point in making threats, Weiss. This heart is a better hostage than an entire kindergarten. I have it right beside my head. And you'd never dare to shoot. The company can be blamed for this local cock-up. If you want to do a good deed, and honor the memory of the dearly departed, you should try to make damn sure the company doesn't get the heart. We have the same objectives. Of course, you know, there's a slight flaw in this plan of yours, Olivier. The heart is just bait. As soon as someone picks it up, Glomar will enslave him. Reynolds warned me about that beforehand. Bullshit! Reynolds knew fuck all about what would happen. You'd never find that out, or even figure it out. You can only give it a try. If you touch it, Olivier, you won't get any special power. You'll be like a rookie taking on an old war horse. Glomar will fuck you over. Try to imagine it. That heart will fry your brain. You'll be transformed into... Bullshit! It'll be mine. All mine. Olivier! And mine.
That's what I'd call a poor assessment of the situation, Colonel. The embarrassing thing is that I myself now have the same problem. So, Yorick, I'd like to ask for some advice. To take or not to take? Yorick? Who the fuck is Yorick? But if you ask me, I wouldn't take it. You took care of him really well, man. Now let's get this shit back into the rock and get out of here. You're still making nice plans for me, Bruce. I was almost afraid that I wouldn't have any more work to do. Yeah, we'll take control of their ship. And then let's go somewhere together and get wasted. You betcha. And this'll be a piece of cake. They were in such a hurry to go after you, bro, so you could bump them off that they left the capsule completely unattended. Not a living soul anywhere. They didn't post any guards. They're total lamers. Stupid, incompetent grunts. I have it under control. Hey, wait a minute. I'll just have another quick look at the coordinate. Oh! Bruce? You did it! Oh, I knew you would, Arnie. I believed in you the whole time. You're the best of them all. Olivia. You know, I kept asking myself who came in that ship. But otherwise, you're right. That's for sure. I'm number one. All I have to do now is take Gloma's heart, and I can become ruler of the world at the drop of a hat. I always loved your sense of humor, Arnie. After all, you don't want the heart. You don't need Glomar for anything. You're good enough even without it. Warren warned you, right? That's why you let Olivier help himself? Warren figured out that the heart would do terrible things to a man. No. No? Au contraire, sweetheart. He told me something completely different. Uh, but that's precisely why I tried to make Olivier believe that Glomar would destroy him. That's the great weakness of all megalomaniac plans. That goddamn human imagination. The heart arranges things precisely according to what someone expects from it. That's all. There's nothing else to it. that I've just saved you from a really nasty situation, Livia. If you'd taken the heart without thinking beforehand, some foolish wish would certainly have crossed your mind. And what did you wish for? You don't know, sweetheart. You don't feel it. There were days when you knew exactly what I wanted. Maybe I still remember quite enough of this. We were a good couple, Livia. Yeah, a good pair. But the poison of a coral snake is better, my dear. Ow! That sure was a stupid wish, Arnie. It's a pity you never gave a damn about what I wanted. No, nothing, nothing like, like that could be detected. Traces of the body are in the upper limits but are within the norm. For a man who is exposed to the radiation of a body in mind, it's completely natural. I'm not interested in that. There's a piece of a body in his body and I want to get it out. Well, of course, technically speaking, an autopsy is not a problem. But as far as I know, company management don't want... I don't give a damn about what somebody does or doesn't want. I'm now in charge here. Oh, this is certainly so man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to. If you wouldn't like to, to then, then don't. Get everything ready for the autopsy, Dr. Morrison. Morrison. Now, now get, get out. out. Yes, of course, sir. Ugh, it is. Why, Why is everybody, everybody so incompetent? Arnie, Arnie, Arnie. You bastard. You're dead. Dead. No signs of life. So why can't I get this damn heart out? You know, I have a fucking horrible feeling that you duped me. For a while there, I really thought that you wanted me. Just me. Can you believe that? But you, you're such an old, simple bastard. You probably wouldn't mind if things were worked out, eh? But you've got too many tricks up your sleeve to waste your magic wish fooling around me. Well, it didn't work out for you anyway, honey. 
I'll, I'll get, get that heart, heart. Even, even if I have to cut you up into tiny little pieces. Dr. Morrison, I turned off the cryobox. Come for the body, we shall start immediately. <laughs>